a bird. I am a bird. Are you a plane? No! You're a super weirdo! Hey, I'm Jesse, and this is my lovely wife, Seaweed, and we are Tribal Soup Project. Welcome to another episode of Fair Antics, Simple Fair for Simple Folk, a low-carb cooking show with a bit of a twist. And today we're bringing you a special episode. One of the worst things when you're on the diet is finding that quick and easy snack to satisfy your hunger. Let's face it, sometimes we do get a little bit lazy. So today we are going to show you four different things that you can make in a snack. I'm going to call it a snack snack. <laughs> cans of tuna fish you want and just leave them in your refrigerator for an easy go-to snack for whenever you're feeling a little bit hungry. So the things that you need in order to make tuna boats are tuna fish, eggs, celery, relish, and also poss possible option is sliced green olives or banana peppers chopped up. Um, mayonnaise if you like mayo, mustard if you like mustard like I do, Jesse doesn't like mustard too much though, um, and then the seasonings I use are onion powder, garlic powder, celery, salt, and black pepper. So two of the things that we are showing you guys how to make today do involve boiled eggs. So I am going to start by showing you guys how I do my boiled eggs. You just stick your eggs in a pot and fill it up with water. And when you have your eggs completely submerged in water, you're gonna put it on your stove top on high heat. Now that we've got a nice rolling boil happening, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for five minutes. And I'm going to let it continue to boil for five minutes. Once that timer goes off, I'm going to turn off my heat and then set my timer again for another five minutes. And after that five minutes, the boiled egg will be done. You need your mom? Yeah, I need my mom. Cry. <laughs> Cry, see if she comes. You're not doing a good enough job. Cry louder. Be more desperate. <laughs> now she's running away. What's that song? It goes like it comes from the land of the ice and snow yeah. where the meatloaf grows and the eggs fall from the sky. <laughs> Is everything shaking? So now that my eggs are all done boiling, I'm ready to put together my tuna fish. I've already opened my three cans of tuna and completely drained the water from inside. And I put it in this gladware container so that if I don't use all my tuna right now, it'll be left over and in the fridge for when I want it later. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to peel and chop up two boiled eggs. 
I like to peel my eggs under a running faucet, just kind of angling the egg so that the water goes up under the shell to make it a little bit easier to peel. When I begin cutting my eggs, I'm going to cut them in half and then I'm going to turn it so that the part I cut is horizontal now and then I'm going to cut those two in half, giving me four egg sections, making it easy so that they're chopped up into nice little roundish cubes. Bet you didn't know that was a thing. You can make a wrap using Roman lettuce as a wrap and if that's what you're going to do you should go ahead and chop up your celery and add it to the tuna but today I'm going to make tuna boats so I'm not going to actually chop this celery up I'm going to first give it a nice wash make sure all the dirt comes off and then I'm going to cut my two ends just like that. And then now I'm actually going to cut them in half as well. Now that I've got my celery all chopped up, I'm ready to go ahead and mix my tuna. So I start slow. You can always add more, but you can't take any away. So I'm going to put just a little bit of mayo and mustard in, just like that. And then I'm going to put some of my dill relish in. And again, I'm just going to put, you know, a little bit. And then I'm going to do my seasoning. And you want to start out, again, very slow with the seasoning. I don't put in exact measurements for this kind of thing. I just do it to taste. So I've got my celery salt, my onion powder my garlic powder, and black pepper. I'm going to give it a good little mix. And when this is all mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and try it. And if I need to add more stuff in, I'll add more stuff in at that time. Once I've got my tuna, just how I like it, I'm going to go ahead and fill, fill my tuna boats with it. So one of the biggest snacks that people like are potato chips, and that's really one of those things you just can't have on a no-carb diet. So uh, here's a good solution that will actually satisfy and is really one of the simplest snacks you can do. 
We're going to take a piece of a, a zucchini and we're just going to cut the end off of it. We're going to use our handy dandy little slicer here over a little bowl and we're just going to slice up a whole bunch of zucchini chips. Now with the thin slicer selected, it gives you a nice, beautiful, perfectly thin little chip. Now you can take that and combine it with some ranch, which is still brand new, so we're going to have to pull the eel inside thing off. Whichever ranch you particularly like, put it in a little bowl, you take your chip, You're ready, for, you're ready to watch the game, chill out, watch a movie. And it took you like not even five minutes. Hi, I'm <laughs> Jesse. This is my lovely wife, Seaweed. Yeah, really. So the next, super easy, super quick, and super delicious snack I'm going to teach you guys how to make is garlic and herb stuffed peppers. All you will need to do this is some sweet peppers that usually come in a bag in your produce section. And then you will also need some kind of garlic cheese spread. And we use the Alouette garlic and herbs cheese spread. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna cut up your peppers. And all you're gonna do is first you're going to cut off the top, like so. And then you're gonna cut this in half. Now, the important thing to remember when you cut these in half is, as you can see, you've got two sides which are not so thick, and then two sides which are thick. When you cut these, you want to cut down like that so that you have a nice open boat when you're done. So I am going to slice it in half, like so. So I've got two little pepper boats and then I'm going to wash out the innards and the seeds. some chicken salad and uh, take a regular bowl we've got our canned chicken that we've already drained we'll take that out dump it in there put that to the side then we're going to chop up some uh, celery so we can combine it first you got to wash it Nobody likes dirty celery. Put all our ends here. Both sides. And then we're going to chop this up. I like to chop my celery fine. You can do it fast, you can do it fancy, but I like it to be uh, thin, so I'll take my time because I like my fingers and I, I like my celery. Take 
take our eggs and we're going to cut our egg in half and then we're going to rotate our egg so that this is horizontal and then we're going to cut it in half again. This way when we cut them into small pieces it's round cubicles. <laughs> I'm going to do that to both of our eggs. But you didn't know about rounded cubes. Then we're going to take our egg and add it to the chicken as well. Now we're also going to put some uh, olives in it. I'm going to put some Kalamata olives in it. I kind of like those. They're a little bit on the salty side, but you know, I kind of like them. And it doesn't take a lot, just a couple, a few. Now we're going to add a little, uh, little dill relish. some mayonnaise, kind of mix it all together and keep it fresh and good. And also this is when we'll start putting some of our seasonings on it. And, and like all seasonings, you know, you can, like she said before, you can always add more. You can't take it away once it's on there. And we've got a little salt and pepper here. Uh, we're also going to put some uh, Sazon Complete in there. Of course, we have some onion powder and some garlic. We're going to go ahead and mix this all together. Sometimes you got to crush some of those big chicken chunks up a little bit. And there you go, a little simple chicken salad that you can put on. Uh, lettuce wraps, you can put on the celery stalks, you can use on your, um, your zucchini chips or inside the peppers. It can go a lot of places where you can just eat it with a fork or a spoon. You've got horns in your ears. Yeah, that's what you say? Hey, I'm Jesse. How are you? Looking right at you, baby, you little small camera, you can see over there. Look, he's winking at you! Bye! Hey, I'm Jesse, this is my lovely wife, Siri. Huh? What? Huh? I have a good look on Hey, don't you! <laughs> You're fresh. Bye.